so I love this time of year when the cow parsley is meets the trees. It's just so beautiful. Cow parsley season, snowdrop season. Those are two of my favorite spring aspects. Look at that, underneath that beech tree. Ah, oh, it's just so beautiful. Our driveway. Look at the contrast of the cow parsley with the ash tree trunk. It's just heaven, absolute heaven. All the floofiness of cow parsley. The ash tree is about to seed. It's about to cast off its babies. Ah, and the smell. Sorry there's not an aroma you can smell of the cow parsley. Here's vetches and long grasses. Not so much cow parsley. Here's clovers, speedwell, tulips, buttercups, bluebells, daisies, vetches, plantains, hawkweed, dandelions, and then more cow parsley. There's a holly. And what's so lovely about beech trees, copper beech is, they're pale. Copper beeches are very pale at the beginning of the season. Now, I've come here for a reason. Now, it's moving day. Oh. Moving day. Come on, girls. Come on. Woo. Woo. Come on. There's sheep all the way on the far side. Come on, girls! Come on! Ooh. I'm being bumped. Hello, you. You bumping me. Yeah. Uh. Now, can you move out of the way, ladies? Come on. You gotta move out of the way. Almost everybody's here. Can you let me get in here? Come on here, Feather. Move. I don't want to hit you with the gate. This, bang. Okay, are you ready, girls? Woo! They're running to see who gets the first bit of the yumminess. This is full of all kinds of things. She's eating stuff that's short-rooted. Oh 
she's eating the dandelions. Nice. That's what she's eating. She de she's eating sheep's purse and grass. The lamb behind her is eating some sheep's purse. This poor lamb doesn't realize it's being a bit silly. Definitely being silly. There we go. Look at how high that grass is against the flanks of those sheep. Look at that. They're gonna have a lovely time grazing in here. Loads of grass. Shepherd's purse, dandelions being eaten. Look at that. Speedwell, buttercups, daisies, vetches, clover. All kinds of yummies. Over here, they've got bluebells they can eat. You can see the leftover of the uh, daffodils. Gosh, they're all going over there. I hope I've closed the gate down below. I'll be in real trouble if I haven't. Oh, they're all galloping over to the old gate. I better go and look, make sure they'll end up in a field I don't want them to be in. I better go check. Look at that, mouthfuls of buttercups. Buttercups are high in calcium. Sheep can eat buttercups. Sheeps, my English is so bad. Look, she's eating buttercups as well. Yum, 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 buttercups. So, when a sheep eats buttercups, the extra calcium that the buttercups produce in growing, because that's what they're doing, they're kind of addressing a calcium, one of the things is a calcium deficiency in the soil. So when the sheep poops out their buttercup poop, they're returning calcium to a higher level in the soil from what the buttercups have concentrated on. They actually, also the sheep look beautiful in buttercups. Look at her munching through the buttercups. Having a lovely time munching buttercups. Now, I still haven't gone to look and see if they've all escaped through a gate or not. This is just so beautiful, them and the buttercups. Hey there. No, I didn't leave the gate open. But look at them in the field of buttercups. Just don't they look beautiful? Look at that. Surrounded by buttercups. 
by tomorrow most of these buttercups will be gone. The richest grazing is down there. That's why all the sheep are there. Wading in buttercups. <laughs> Lambs are even eating buttercups. You're lost! Where's your mama? The inevitable occurs when we move to a fresh pasture. A few lambs lose sight of their mothers. And their mothers are so excited about the uh, fresh grass, they ignore the calls of their lambs. So their mothers are probably down in that bunch down there. I know they'll find their mothers. Just a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs>